All right, head on over into files um, to download. You can also click on this practice files link. And if you open it, this is all the practice files we go through. You'll see that there are some that are labeled as JPEG. You can download any of them, fish, penguins, tiger from here. Or you can go to files and download them here within the particular module. Totally up to you. You can use your own photos. It's fine. For this exercise, we're just going to create a photo album. Okay, so I've downloaded a couple photos. I'm going to open a blank, pre blank presentation. I'm going to head over to insert and I'm going to select new photo album. Okay, I'm going to insert files from disk. I'm going to get to my downloads folder. I'm going to select my four photos insert them. It's going to put them in here for me. All right, there we go. So we're going to just experiment. I want you guys to do a few different things here. So different picture layouts and frame shapes. So let's go ahead and select a image. Okay, so different layouts. So fit to slide. Let's see. We're going to say um, two pictures. So two by two on each slide. We're going to go with a simple black frame for this one. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to do a center shadow rounded one instead. Okay. I'm going to insert text boxes between them. So go ahead and unselect this, click on the first one and just say new text box. You can click on this one, do the same thing. And now I've inserted a text box after each photo. And I'm also going to apply a theme by coming down here and browsing these. Uh, I'll do organic and select. Okay. So I can also, if I'm in here on the photo and I've checked it, I can do things like increase the contrast or brightness, you know, so you can play around with the photos if you want a little bit. Okay. And then I'm just going to hit create. And my photo album, look at that. So now I have an album of photos. I have these text boxes here. And so the next thing to do is replace your text holder, your placeholder text from text box to flamingos or whatever you may choose to write. Ish. Okay what have you. We're going to change the theme and resize pictures. So to resize pictures, I would click on the picture, come on over to picture format, resize. I'm going to make the height smaller. So this guy fits in my slide. Happy Feet is a great movie if you haven't seen it. Of course, it's probably because I have small children, but I think so. Okay, we've got our tiger here. All right, so there we go. Okay, so now the, the last part, if we wanna change the theme, all we need to do is come back over here to our photo album and click on edit. And I'm gonna browse to a new theme. I'll select facet and I'll update. Now you see my whole layout has changed. I also actually want to have multiple pictures on the same one. So you'll see that I didn't lose the text boxes. It's still there, but now I have two pictures on each one. So go ahead and play around a little bit. Um, I'm gonna deal with some of these, these changes, edit the photo album, go ahead and save, and then submit, and you're all set for this one.